Many people probably associate Peru with the ancient Inca city of Machu Picchu. But what about the South American country otherwise? Peru is located on the Pacific coast and completely south of the equator. It also divides into three major landscape zones, as can be well seen in the satellite image. In the west, the flat to hilly, mostly quite narrow coastal strip. The mountains of the Andes follow in a north-south direction through the country. And in the east, the Amazon basin with its tropical rainforest, Selva in Spanish. The highest mountain in the country is Nevado Huascaran at 6,768 meters. Peru's most important rivers are the Rio Apurimac, the Rio Ucayali, and the Marañón, all headquarters of the Amazon. And finally, the Amazon itself. The largest lake in the country is Lake Titicaca, located in the plateau known as the Altiplano, on the border with Bolivia. It is the largest freshwater lake in South America. The nature of the country also provides for great climatic diversity. Along the coast, a very dry desert climate prevails, followed by a semi-arid steppe climate in a transition zone. In the mountains, alpine and polar climates can be found. Temperate climates are found in some valleys and peripheral areas of the mountains. Finally, the climate in the east of the country is tropical. The El Niño Southern Oscillation weather phenomenon causes extreme weather at irregular intervals. Peru is one of the world's mega-diverse countries and is home to numerous animals and plant species. Around 1,800 bird species are counted, making it the most species-rich country on Earth in this category. Peru's neighbors are Ecuador and Colombia to the north, Brazil and Bolivia to the east, and Chile to the south. Together with Colombia, Ecuador and Bolivia, it is a member of the Andean community, in Spanish Comunidad Andina, CAN, which aims to achieve greater economic, political and social integration of the participating countries. Peru has an area of almost 1.3 million square kilometers, making it the third largest country in South America, behind Brazil and Argentina. The population of around 33.8 million is made up of 60% so-called mestizos, descendants of European settlers and the indigenous population, and around a quarter indigenous people. By far, the largest city is the capital Lima, whose metropolitan area is home to about 10 million people, or nearly a third of the total population. Other large cities are Trujillo, Arequipa, Chiclayo, and Callao, in the Lima metropolitan area. The largest city in the rainforest is Iquitos, with over 300,000 in the metropolitan area, but it can only be reached by air. The official language of Peru is Spanish, which is spoken by 80% of the population as their mother tongue. Quechua and Aymara are also recognized at the regional level. These indigenous languages are still spoken, especially in the Andes. Three quarters of the population belong to the Roman Catholic Church. About 14% belong to Protestant or Evangelical churches. Economically, Peru is one of the newly industrializing countries and has a per capita income of about 6,600 US dollars. However, about one-fifth of the population lives beyond the poverty line. The most important trading partner is China, followed by the USA. Agriculture, thanks to the climatic zones, is able to produce numerous products and employs a quarter of the working population. Of particular importance is the cultivation of sugarcane and potatoes, which, by the way, originate in the mountains of Peru, followed by rice and bananas. Peru is also one of the world's largest producers of avocados and blueberries, for example. Coffee cultivation is especially important for export. The coastal waters are very rich in fish, making Peru one of the world's largest fishing nations. Last but not least, the illegal cultivation of coca is also widespread. The most important export goods in general, however, are the country's raw materials, especially copper, gold, iron, zinc, and also crude oil, the production of which, however, has dropped significantly over the last decades. 
The most important industrial sectors include the textile industry, metal processing, the food industry and the petrochemical industry. Services account for more than half of economic output. Important are banking sector, Lima is the economic and financial center of the country. In addition, the city's airport is one of the most important air traffic hubs in South America and the port of Callao is one of the most important container ports on the continent. Retail trade and tourism, especially cultural tourism. Important tourist destinations are the colonial old town of Lima, the city of Cusco, historical capital of the Inca Empire, but also starting point for excursions to Machu Picchu or the other ruins in the sacred valley of the Incas. Among the numerous other attractions are also the famous Nazca lines. In addition, Lake Titicaca and Amazonia are worth mentioning for ecotourism. And this is the end of our short overview to Peru. Thanks for watching. Until next time.